Hello everyone, my name is Bharat Nagnath and today we are going to learn about sequential control of LED bulbs using Arduino Uno. And so right now you can see the output on your screen. The lights are turning on sequentially and are turning off in the same sequence in which it turned on originally. So the requirements for this project are Arduino Uno board itself. USB cable to connect the board with your computer. A breadboard. Six LED lights. And a few jump wires to connect with each other. Now moving on to the connections part. First, connect the USB cable to your computer. Then connect the other end to the Arduino Uno board. Then you can see that each LED bulb has two legs. One is short and one is long. The shorter leg is the anode and the longer leg is the cathode. So connect the shorter leg to the lower compartment of the breadboard as shown on your screen. And connect the longer leg onto the upper compartment as shown on your screen and do the same for each LED bulb. Now take a jump wire and connect the lower compartment row to the ground port in the Arduino Uno board. Using a jump wire, connect the first LED bulb column to the port number 13 on the Arduino Uno board. Now connect the second LED bulbs column to the port number 12 on Arduino Uno board. Repeat the same for LED bulb 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th. Connect the third LED using the jump wire to the port number 11 and connect the fourth one to the port number 10 and the fifth to port number 9 and the sixth to the port number 8. So moving on to the programming part. First, you need to download the Arduino IDE from the Arduino's official website. Then you can see the text area where you can type the code for your Arduino board to work. So the code for this program or this project, I have given it in the description below. You can download it and you can just copy paste it and you can run it. But I'll just walk through the code for you to understand in a better manner. So here I have created an array of integer type and we're defining all the LED pins where we connected the LED lights. Okay, so the port number eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 are connected to the LED lights. So we are storing all the port numbers in an array called LED pins of type integer. Then we see something called as void setup. Now void setup is the function for Arduino just like main function is for C program. So setup will run first that means here we can initialize the ports. Okay, we can mention if a certain port is in output mode or in input mode. Output mode means from Arduino board to the other devices. Input mode means from out, uh, other devices coming back to the Arduino board. That is input. So here we have created a for loop and we're iterating from the zeroth index until index number five because here the index is zero for eight value eight and this is one for value nine this is two three four and five so we are iterating from index zero to index five then we are using 
the function pin mode and we are telling that all the LED pins are of output mode because we want to turn on or off the LED lights. So we need to uh, put them in the output mode because we are not taking any input from the LED lights, obviously. So this is the set of function. Then moving on to the loop function. Now whatever is there in the loop function will loop again and again. So here we are calling another function so that each time the, this function is called for iteration. So one after another no loop is the function we have called. Let's have a look at what we have done in this function. So <clears throat> here we are giving an integer value called delay time and we're initializing it with 500. This means that 500 milliseconds we want a delay and we are just defining the integer value and keeping it. And here digital write function first parameter we are, we are providing the LED pin number and then second parameter is high or low. So for LED lights if we give us high it means that the LED light will start to glow. So this whole statement will glow the eight pin numbers LED light because we have given LED pins of zero which is number eight. So this will glow the our first LED light. Then we are giving a delay using the delay function and we are passing on the delay time as 500 milliseconds. Okay. So, the, uh, so that uh, if with delay, we can notice what is changing. After every operation, we are putting delay here. So the second thing what we are doing is we are glowing the adjacent light using high as a second parameter again. And then we do the same for the third LED light, fourth LED light, fifth LED light and sixth LED light. And for every operation we are doing, we are giving a delay that is 500 milliseconds. After executing of this much of code, up to this point, the all LED lights will be glowing. So we need to start turning off the lights because we want to sequentially glow it, which we have achieved it. Now we have to sequentially turn it off. So we are turning off the sixth LED light by passing the second parameter as low. The same function digital right, we are passing the second parameter as low. Then we are giving a delay again. Then we are turning off the fifth LED light. Then we are turning off the fourth LED light. Then we are turning off the third one, second one and the last, the first LED light we are turning off. Okay. So each time, uh, since it is in the loop function, each time this will be called and this will keep on happening. So this is what your code is. So moving on to the execution part of the code that we have written onto the IDE. So as you can see, this is the code what we have written previously. Now we need to upload the sketch onto the Arduino board. So just save this file then move on to the tools and then check the Arduino Genwin Uno board. Then go to tools again and check that com file is selected. Then you need to press the upload button at on top. After pressing the upload button, you can see the output on your Arduino board. The lights will turn on sequentially and turn off sequentially. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.